Hello, Atinix. I hope that you are all safe and healthy. This is Teacher Andrea, and join me as we explore the world of mathematics. As we start our lesson, let's have a simple activity called Let Us Locate. Your task is you're going to name or identify the tourist attraction or the landmark being shown. Are you ready? That's great! Who among you visited that place? Where is the location of that place? Very good! The Robinson's Mall is located at Tugigaro City, Kagea. Now, what is the name of that bridge? Very good! That is the Magapit Bridge. Where is the location of that bridge? Very good! The Magapit Bridge is located at Magapit Lalo Kagaya. How about that landmark? Where do you usually see that? Very good! That is the castle in the sky located also at Magapit Lalo Kagaya. How about that church? Where is the location of that church? Very good! That is the St. Alexandria of Centro Gatalan, Kagia. Who among you visited that beautiful tourist attraction? Where is the location of that falls? Very good! The location of that falls is at Tanglagan, Gataran, Cagayan, and the name of that falls is very well said, the Tanglagan Falls, the very own pride of Gataran Cagayan. Now, what is the importance of knowing the exact location of a certain place? Very well said, knowing the exact location of a certain place help us to find it easily whenever we want to go or visit it. Putting it into a mathematical sense, locating certain objects, establishment, and places is the same as plotting point in the Cartesian plane. Early in the 17th century, René Descartes, a French mathematician and a philosopher, used horizontal and vertical number lines drawn perpendicular to each other. He named it Cartesian Plane from his last name, Descartes. Cartesian Coordinate Plane is two-dimensional grid formed by drawing two number lines. One line is perpendicular to the other. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis, while the vertical number line is called the y-axis. And the point at which two axes intersect is called the point of origin. Each point in the coordinate system is defined by an ordered pair of the form x and y. The first coordinate of the point is called x-coordinate or the abscissa, while the second coordinate is called y-coordinate or the ordinate. We call x and y an ordered pair because it is defined in the form x and y, not y and x. The Cartesian coordinate plane is divided into four regions called quadrants. The four regions, quadrant 1 to 4, are named in counterclockwise direction starting from upper right-hand region. The signs of the first and second coordinates of a point vary in four quadrants. The sign of the ordered pair in the first quadrant is both positive. But in the quadrant 2, the sign of the x coordinate is negative, while the sign of the y coordinate is positive. For quadrant 3, both first and second coordinates of the point is in a negative sign. And last, 
for quadrant 4, the sign of the first coordinate is positive, while the sign of the second coordinate is negative. Now, let us try to plot points in the Cartesian plane. Let us plot point 3 and 2. First, we are going to locate the x-coordinate, which is the positive 3 in the x-axis, and followed by the y-coordinate, which is positive 2. Then, connect. The intersection is now the location of the point 3 and 2. Next, we are going to plot Point A with coordinates negative 6 and 4. First, we are going to locate the x-coordinate, which is the negative 6 on the x-axis, followed by our y-coordinate, which is positive 4. The intersection of negative 6 and 4 is now the location of point A. Next, we are going to plot the point N with coordinates negative 3 and negative 3. Again, let's plot first the x-coordinate on the x-axis, which is negative 3, and our y-coordinate on the y-axis, which is negative 3. The intersection of the two coordinates is now the location of point N, with coordinates negative 3 and negative 3. Another example, we're going to plot point T with coordinates positive 5 and negative 1. Again, let's plot first the x coordinate, which is positive 5 on the x axis, followed by our y coordinate, which is negative 1 on the y axis. Again, the intersection of the two coordinates 5 and negative 1 is now the location of the point T with coordinates 5 and negative 1. There are also points which lie in the x and y axis. The points which lie in y axis have coordinates 0 and y like our example point U having the coordinates 0 and negative 6. So, the location of our point U is in the y-axis. Points which lie in the x-axis have coordinates x and 0, like our point W with coordinates negative 5 and 0. So, the location of point W is, is in the x-axis. For you to further memorize the concept of an ordered pair, let's sing the coordinate song. I will sing first song, then afterwards you are going to sing with me. Stop clear. Okay, that's great. X and Y, X and Y, ordered pair, ordered pair. X is the C is the Y is the ordinate X and Y ordered pair. Okay, you sing with me. X and Y, X and Y ordered pair, ordered pair. X is the C is the Y is the ordinate X and Y ordered pair. To further check your understanding regarding our discussion a while back, let's have an activity math technique. It composes of two rounds, the easy round and the average round. For the easy round, the activity is named Who Am I? Each correct answer is correspond to one point and for the average round, the activity is called were am I which correspond to two points for each correct answer. For the first item in the easy round, the horizontal line in the Cartesian plane is, is the x-axis. Okay, check your own papers and afterwards, you're going to take a photo of your paper then send it to me. 
Next, the point where x axis and y axis intersect or meet. Good job! It is on the point of origin. Okay, again, check your own paper. Third, the second coordinate of an ordered pair is very good it is the y coordinate or the ordinate next item the vertical line in the cartesian plane is very good it is the y axis For the last item in the easy round the first coordinate of an ordered pair is good job it is the x coordinate or the abscissa okay who got five good you really listen in our discussion a while back so now let's proceed to our average round first item in our average round where is the location of the point one and one okay, correct it is on quadrant one okay again check your own paper and each correct point for the average round is two points each next item what is the location of point negative nine and negative six correct it's quadrant three okay next item number three where is the location of negative two and seven okay good job it is on quadrant Two. The last item, where is the location of point 1 and negative 5? Correct. It is quadrant 4. Okay. Check the number of correct answers. Who got 8 for the average round? Very good. You really learned a lot in our discussion. Afterwards, you're going to take a photo of your paper with the total score, then send it to my messenger. Further check if you really learn a lot in our discussion. Let's answer the assessment part of our lesson. You are given 5 minutes to answer this. Then after answering the assessment part, take a photo again of your paper, then send it in my messenger. For your performance task, the activity is named Coordinate Making. This activity will enable you to apply your knowledge in rectangular coordinate system. Make your own coordinate using graphing paper, ruler, pencil, or ball pen, and any coloring material available. These are just an example of coordinate of the previous students of this class your output will be graded according to this rubric with the following criteria accuracy of the plot 15 points originality 5 points neatness and attractiveness is 5 points and that ends our lesson I hope that you have learned something and enjoy our lesson. Please don't forget to submit your papers and your output as well. Stay safe. See you next time.